This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to make a biscuit chicken pot pie. I have had this recipe in my phone for years under my notepads and haven't used it. And I found it um, last week, and I said, well, I'm going to make this. I want to see what it tastes like and if it's any good. And the first thing I've got to do is I've got my casserole dish here. This is my Temptation. I don't even know how big it is. It's pretty big. Um, casserole dish. And I'm going to spray that. And then I have these great value flaky jumbo biscuits. I'm going to get two cans. I'm going to cut them into fours and layer them. Well, first I'm going to spray the pan. Then I'm going to layer the biscuits in there. And then I'll bring you back when I get to the next step. Okay, I'm back. All right, I've put the two cans of biscuits. I've spread them out in the bottom of the casserole dish. And now I fixed it. <laughs> Four o'clock this morning, I fixed, um, I'm really not sure, it wasn't the usual, it wasn't packed like usually, like it usually is at Walmart, it had like eight chicken breasts in it, um, may, may have been more than that, but I'm going to cut up four of them, and it's down in there, I've got four of them, and I cooked them, um, and they've just been sitting on, on low in the, um, in my instant pot and I'm going to use four of them and you got to put the chicken over the biscuits like that so there's two on this side and then I'll get two on the other side and the black that you see on the chicken is pepper because y'all know I love pepper alright so I'm going to cut up two more chicken breasts I'm going to see, there's still, you know, eight. There's still four left. So it was eight chicken breasts in here. And it's normally six, so this was definitely different. But I'm going to cut these up and put them in, and I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, I'm back. All right, in this bowl, I've got um, three cans of, I mean, three cups of chicken broth from where I cooked my chicken in the um, Instant Pot, and I made extra so I'd have broth, and I've got, so I put in one can of cream of chicken, great value cream of chicken soup, I'm going to, I'm putting in two cans of cream of chicken soup in this bowl, and then I'm using to get out all of the soup, I'm using a half a can of milk in one can and a half a can of milk in the other can. And then I'm going to mix all of this up and I'll bring you back and we'll get to the next step of this. Okay, so I really can't, I'm in such tight fit over here. Here's the bowl with the soup and it's got a... Um, Ha um, half a stick of butter and it is butter in here and you could melt it but I didn't do that because it's going to melt in the pan anyway so I've mixed up all this soup and I've got one cup of, but of milk in here and then the two cans of well anyway the ingredients will be below in the description box and now what I've got to do is I put, let me switch you over to this now. I put a half a stick of butter. I just cut it up, put little chunks in here. And now what I'm going to do is I've got a bag of frozen peas and carrots. And that's going to go on top of the chicken. <clears throat> All right. Just like that. This is going to be so good. And just spread them out so it's evenly distributed in your casserole dish. All right. Make sure let me re mix this up again. And now we're going to pour all of this milk and soup and butter and all in here and I've got my oven preheated to 
350. Oh, this is going to make a awesome soup. I need to put some more over there. I may have a little bit too much. It may be too, too runny. But I need to get this, the rest of this out. I'm just spreading it out over the top here. And you're supposed to put cheese on this, on the top of it, but I'm not sure about that. <laughs> you don't put cheese on um, chicken pot pies, and I don't think I'm going to put cheese on this. And you're supposed to leave it in the oven for an hour on 350. And so I'm going to go on and put this in the oven. You can see it's pretty well up to the top. Let's hope it doesn't um, go over the top of this. And I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. All right, this is done. It cooked an hour. I had to put my casserole dish in another, um, in a cookie sheet because it started um, leaking over cooked for an hour my daughter's already tasted it and I've tasted it and it is amazing this is really really good really good it's really hot but I want to taste it for y'all mm, mm, mm. oh this is this is so good mm. so good You've got to give this a try. Wow. I am, oh gosh, I am really impressed with this. And I didn't use any cheese. I didn't use any um, onion powder or garlic powder. Because I like chicken pot pies. I wouldn't, I don't think I would like that on my chicken pot pies. So, if you do, then that's fine. But I don't, I'm kind of a plain Jane when it comes to that. I did use chicken bouillon and when I cook the chicken in the instant pot I used two cubes of chicken bouillon and so that gave the chicken and I had to use the the um, chicken broth from cooking the chicken in the instant pot so it has an amazing flavor from that but if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and please go and try and go and fix this it's really easy and it's so good Mm. Look below for different links of things you can purchase from Amazon, and also there'll be a link below to my Facebook, my Twitter, and um, the my email address, and I hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.